make money to afford your travels? That is the most popular question I get by far. So I would like to take a few minutes to explain the different ways in which I make money to pay for my travels. First things first, no, I am not rich. I do not have rich parents and I don't have a huge savings account. I make all of my own money to fund my travels through lots of hard work, patience, bartering, taking advantage of opportunities, and being a smart money spender. For the first two years of living abroad, 2013 to 2015, I made a living teaching English in Korea. And these days, the majority of my income comes from the following five ways. Sponsored trips, YouTube ads, affiliate marketing, social media promotions, and travel blogging. My salary varies month by month. Some months I make 25k, while others I make four. Essentially, the harder I work, the more I get paid. So we're driving across Uganda right now, and I'm editing some videos in the car. And the more eyeballs on my content, the more I can charge brands. It's basic marketing. Let's take a closer look at each revenue stream in order from the highest paying to the lowest. Sponsored trips. Every year, I go on a handful of trips that are sponsored by tourism boards or a specific destination. They cover all travel expenses, and depending on the workload, my rate is about 2.5k per day for video content and social media posts. YouTube ads. Believe it or not, I have jumped on the YouTube bandwagon after neglecting it for over a year. What's up guys, my name is Drew Binsky and I make daily travel videos. I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers. And last month, I made $2,300. It's really awesome considering I make $0 from Facebook and I've had over 120 million views there. Affiliate marketing. This is when I sell a product through a custom link and make a commission at no additional cost to the consumer. My highest paying affiliates are selling a TEFL class for English teachers discounts on hotels for booking.com and camera products on Amazon. I make 1 to 2k a month on affiliates. Social media promotions. This is when a travel related brand approaches me to promote their product. Taking an Uber here is the best way to get around. It's much cheaper and safer than taxis. I try to limit these to stay authentic to my brand and not be a sellout. But when I do them, I make sure the product directly aligns with my style. My rates are around 1.5k for an Instagram shout out and 1k for a mention on Snapchat. Travel blogging. This used to be my number one source of income back in 2015, but has slipped away when I got into video. I make money from my blog through affiliate marketing and sponsored articles, when a brand or hotel or airline pays me to write about their product or service and put a link to it. Other income. I also earn money from freelance writing, selling drone footage, travel and social media consulting, as well as making videos for other brands to use on their channels, like I do for Allianz Travel Insurance. Welcome to the next episode of Local Flavor with Drew Binsky. Also, keep in mind that a lot of my travel is comped or bartered in exchange for shout outs. All right, we've just arrived. Whenever you see me mention a hotel or airline, etc., it's usually covered. Thank you for flying, Arisha. Lastly, I will end this video by telling you that anybody can do this if they put in the time and effort. I am just a normal normal kid from Arizona who spent the last five years of his life working his ass off to build a brand and get to this point today. If I can do it, then why can't you do it too? I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.